deal. So it's Sunday evening. There is a two hour Dooney and Burke show on QVC and I have it um, on in the background. I'm down in the basement and kind of have a TV so I can kind of keep my eyes peered to see if there's anything new that's going to um, be revealed tonight. Um, and I thought, you know what? I have been putting this bag review off since July of 2015. It is almost February 2016 and I have not shared this bag. Um, but since it's available tonight on QVC, I believe it was available on Easy Pay and this color is also available. I thought that I would go ahead and purchase, um, go ahead and, and record a video and publish it. So the very first bag that I purchased um, in this particular bag style was of course in the color red and it is the Kimberly crossbody bag in Safiano leather and as you can tell I've not carried her so I'm sure you're thinking well Dooney Attic how are you going to give me a full on bag review of the Kimberly bag that's going to beat what I saw tonight on QVC if you've not even carried the bag. See that right there? This is the bag that I took with me to Chicago for the 4th of July. Um, I purchased the bone color from Nordstrom in 2015. And I bought the, uh, the red Safiano from Macy's in 2015. Ordered this one first, then realized that Nordstrom had an exclusive early bag debut, whatever they call it. I think it's a Nordstrom exclusive. And I love the red, so I couldn't see myself sending that one back to Macy's. And I thought this will be great for Chicago. It is a pebbled leather crossbody bag in the color bone details about this bag other than the fact that it is fabulous with the pebbled leather i don't have a lot of pebble leather in my collection but this one um i i love this texturing on the front it has two large pockets two large pockets my cell phone no problems fit in there it's a pretty lightweight bag even though it is pebbled leather nice uh, d brown golden uh, detail here on the front but the stitching in the leather of the bag is actually in a cream or bone color metal gold tone uh, jury quality Dooney logo plate on the front no feet on the bag on the bottom of the bag but as you can tell, this is not a small bag. Um, I would say it's a, a medium bag. It's a small medium bag in big girl, uh, big bag terms. Nothing on the back of the bag. The back of the bag is smooth. It has a, an adjustable strap. The strap has the center section that can be removed so you can actually carry her as a shoulder bag if you do not want to carry her crossbody style. Gold loop um, hardware on both sides to hold the strap. Now, the inside of the bag. Looks like I still have stuff from Chicago in the bag I don't normally do that but clearly I did okay what is on the inside of the bag leather Dooney and Burke signature plate on the back wall of the bag large zipper pocket on the back wall slip pocket on the back wall slip zip all collared in leather nylon key keeper 
gunmetal hardware. And on the front wall of the bag, a slip pocket, pretty small. And then a slip pocket with the snap closure. So let me tell you, several days in Chicago for the 4th of July, um, lots of sightseeing, lots of shopping, hanging out with my sister and my family there. This bag went with everything that I wore. And when you're up and down the Magnificent Mile and you have shopping bags, you need to be hands-free because if you're going in and out of stores, you, you I'm a shopper. So I don't need anything that's going to be fussy, that's going to weigh me down, slow me down. I don't need anything that I'm going to wonder, you know, is it going to be secure enough? This bag was perfect. Now, what I will tell you is that I purchased, um, we were expecting some cool weather in the evenings in Chicago, even for the 4th of July. Go figure. So I did pack um, a pair of new dark wash jeans. And I did have bleeding from my jeans on to my bag. And I freaked out i panicked so we are having lunch and it was the first time i noticed it we walked over to the hotel i mean sorry walked over to the restaurant from the hotel i get up to go wash my hands and i take my bag off and um hang it on the back of the door while i was using the restroom i know that's tmi but when i saw the back of the bag i flipped out so i quickly got to the sink and got some uh, paper towels and some soap and do you see any traces of navy blue on there not a bit warm water mild soap and it wasn't even a good quality paper towel and it wiped right off so i i wasn't comfortable because i didn't pre-wash the jeans but it was the bag that i took with me um i had another bag it was back at the hotel we were going to be out for the day so i just had to go with it so every time i was near a restroom i would take some warm um, water, put it on the paper towels, mouth soap, and wipe the back of the bag off just because I didn't want um, that um, ink, that dye from my jeans to actually um, settle into the bag and I not be able to get it off. So I have, um, I've traveled with this bag uh, again 4th of July in Chicago when I took her through the ringer then and I've carried her a couple of times since then just um you know Saturdays around the city um shopping in the farmer's market and that kind of thing and if you were on the fence when you saw the um presentation tonight on QVC let me tell you you cannot go wrong um pebbled leather or the Safiano. I love the brightness of the Safiano leather. The Safiano is even a much lighter weight than the pebbled leather. The styling detail on the bags are the same. The only difference is, of course, this one is completely solid red where you have the bone and um, the, the leather trim contrast on um, the bone colored one. I am so glad that Nordstrom got this bag in early. QVC seems to just be getting the pebbled leather and featuring it. Um, and I've already had mine for several months and can attest that if you are unsure about a true crossbody bag, but you want something that you have the option of a crossbody and a shoulder bag, but you don't want something that's teeny tiny like um, um, a mini, or you don't want something as small as a feel bag, this is the way to go. I had um, my stuff, I had some of my nephew's stuff, like his um, game chargers and stuff like that. I had um, my little portable, it's not a halo, but it's the equivalent of a, of a portable halo um, power pack for my phone to recharge throughout the day. Um, sunglasses, my wallet, um, maps for the city, 
um, sunscreen, hand sanitizer, um, you bottled water, uh, crystal light, uh, the little squeeze um, containers of crystal light, uh, you name it, and I was able to get it in this bag. And I am a self proclaimed big bag girl, and the Kimberly carries like a big, big crossbody bag, but it has a small, medium feel to it. So I hope you found this uh, review to be helpful. I hope that I can get it up uh, before the um, presentation ends tonight so that if anyone is on the fence, you can see it and make a decision about the bag. Thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, take care. I hope you find something over the next couple of days or that you uh, maybe found over the weekend to feed your duty addiction. Take care.